Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis led off debate on the resolution in Parliament on Thursday evening. The measures we seek to extend the day merely allows us to help the legal authority to act in case we need to use certain measures. Governor General C.A. Smith declared a third state of emergency in the Bahamas on Tuesday night. This gives the competent authority the ability to have up to another six months of emergency powers. As he insisted, the extension of the emergency order is vital in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. The PM also said that, for now, there are no additional restrictions being placed on Bahamians. In fact, many said the numbers indicate the situation is improving on the family islands that had surges in cases like Exuma and Eleuthera. Minis said the island of Eleuthera could see some of its restrictions eased as early as next week. A team from the Ministry of Health and um, Ricky and Helen Hank, and you all would want to hear this. A team from the Ministry of Health will travel to Eleuthera this coming Friday, meaning tomorrow, November 27th, to conduct a follow-up assessment of the COVID-19 situation. Restrictions will remain in place for the rest of this week, meaning that that team may continue, may report the continuous great news in Elutra, which means that Elutra can possibly be liberated as of Monday. Despite pointing out that new COVID cases are down, the Prime Minister continued to argue that the Bahamas is not out of the woods as he expressed his vigorous support for the extension of the proclamation of emergency until January 31, 2021. But the opposition leader disagreed, saying the opposition could not support what he called a blatant grab for power. The Prime Minister appointed himself as the sole competent authority. And eight months since he has ruled, since he has ruled without consultation, without transparency, without accountability, and even without competence. That's my view, Mr. Speaker. The COVID-19 is no longer a new crisis. That ain't no new crisis, no longer a new crisis. There have been many lessons learned around the world about how to protect public health during this pandemic. The need to do so by a one-man rule has long expired. Senators are expected to debate the resolution on Friday morning. Reporting for Guardian News Network, I'm Jasmine Brown.